Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Uh, I'd like to discuss with you the supply chain bottlenecks constraints we're facing at uh, major shipping container ports across the country. As you know, state of Georgia hosts the port of Savannah, which is, depending upon how you count, the third or fourth largest port of its kind of the United States. It hosts the largest single container terminal of the United States. And uh, like ports across the country and indeed around the world, we're seeing significant delays uh, in the processing of inbound shipments and challenges. Um, I want to ask you what steps the department is taking uh, as part of a, a broader federal response to ease these bottlenecks at shipping ports? Senator, I'm very well aware of, uh, of the challenge there. Uh, one, one measure that we have taken operationally is to uh, increase the hours of operation, uh, sometimes at a 24-7 uh, uh, clip, um, to, to facilitate easing uh, the adverse consequences of the supply chain challenge. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And I was glad that uh, the White House and the administration um, accepted my request uh, that approximately $8 million be allocated to allow the Port of Savannah to rapidly scale up its operations, establish some auxiliary uh, shipping container areas, make greater use of inland ports. Uh, I'm glad those resources are on the way. And I'd like to ask uh, you for your commitment that the Department of Homeland Security, uh, to the extent it's involved in those efforts, will uh, move as rapidly as possible to support our efforts to expand capacity at the Port of Savannah. We most certainly will, Senator. 